Welcome back to Valhalla, where I'm still dying. The game is still great, and I wish I had finished this before the before the uh, year, the new year. But either way, we are back. Alma, Alma, Alma's voice was whatever. She's laughing. You know what? Someone's in a good mood. <laughs> oh, give me a bad touch, will you? That that way, you'll be in a good mood too. You know what? Probably. Bad touch. Always have to do bad touch. Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. I don't know if I can sing more of that song without getting hit by or whatever. But it doesn't. It probably helps that I'm completely off tone. <clears throat> and I actually, of all their songs, I think one of the best songs that I can remember uh, was Foxtrot Unicorn Charlie Kilo. Uh, their song and uh, if you've never heard of it I would I would highly suggest you look up the four words I just mentioned Foxtrot Charlie no wait hold on Foxtrot Unicorn Charlie Kilo Kilo as in K-I-L-O Foxtrot Unicorn Charlie Kilo alright all right, you got it. You got it. Ooh, all right, because I'm not gonna say anything more about that one. <clears throat> Here you go. Oh, Jill, you have such a petty sense of humor. But I got a guilty as charged. I mean, you know, sometimes it's like it's right there. So, what puts you in a good mood, my dear hacker? With your ah ahigo? I found a new word. It's ahigo. I don't know what it is, but it's apparently this little hoof of her hair. Oh yeah, at that. Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custodial proceedings. Custody. Custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of the parking lot. And to top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Luckily, my parents brought them to court. The judge uh, assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. She is fucked up, isn't she? Uh, when they came back to the house and Dayana, I will never pronounce that name correctly. Uh, Dayana started throwing a temper tantrum. She said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would have made her jump into the highway. So Eva comes and says, Well then make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. Who's Eva? Was Eva the kid? Eva was a kid! Eva was a kid! I love that kid. Okay. I shouldn't enforce that behavior, but I like this kid. I want to meet Eva. I'm going to adopt her. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour. You know, you hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. But we played together all the time. We even slept in the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all of that. I mean, age difference and all, but there is something in, in particular that I still can't forgive. It was a day she invited her friend to the house, and I went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister, and she said she has no little sister. That bitch. Who would not want you as a sister? Um, just, I, I don't know this little it, a higo thing it's like it's it's an anime thing that just it's a piece of hair that just defies gravity and just like floats there you normally see it in protagon in female protagonists that, and it will kind of like I'll, I'll go to the side and like kind of change shape into hearts or whatever I think there was a moment that I finally broke the pedestal I I held her on I admire her as much as a kid could admire someone you know Little by little, that admiration wore off, and until we finally reached that breaking point, I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? You are fucking gorgeous for someone over 40. Then again, this is anime, so I mean, yeah, it's fine. 
I, I call it anime, but it's future, and future is weird. If you, look, it's an, it's waifu bartending. There's anime characters everywhere. All right, if she's like 50, fuck man, she's yeah. I I, I have a feeling she's not 50 by the way. <laughs> hey, it's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather. The Diana who's, who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult. You see an overgrown, horny teen. And aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she's made sure to not fix that impression. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm with you there. But enough about me. How are you? Look, everything's fine. Aside from this note that I am now holding in my hand. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out at my dead... My, uh... <clears throat> uh, my dead ex's sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. No, oh. I handed the note to you, didn't I? Wow. She must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. You know, I, I yelled at the kid. I made fun of the kid in front of her face. So, what's the problem then? Well, um, let's see. Uh, the fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Uh, is now? Oh yeah, she got, she's fucking crazy. Oh, no way, she's not crazy. I I don't want to meet her. Right. Give me a Brantini, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. Okay, okay. All right. All right. I got I got some time for stories, huh? You wanna you, you wanna tell me tell me about the good old days? How long? About the time when you know shit wasn't wasn't fucked up. I want to know about those times. Damn it! Oh, it's eight. I swear to God that there is a way where I can just like tap these, but no. I did it once, and I can never, I have never been able to do it again. I can like tap these and just do that instead of dragging them there. I know there's a way. I just can't remember. Here, here you go. Ah, uh, this is the thing. Let's. Uh... Now, where do I begin? God damn it! Boo. Mm, hell no, you fucking psychotic piece of my brain. It's a girl. If you don't remember Anna, Anna Graham, she is not actually there, as far as I know. Every time she talks, I she's in my head. She no shit. I give her, if I give her a drink, it's it's a drink for myself and I pay for it. She's freaking me out, man. Also, she, she, she turned off the TV, man. Like, what the hell? <coughs> this is... <clears throat> this is a story of a girl who grew delusional, del disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon... It became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. I'm gonna be completely honest, Anna. I 100% agree with you. Also, her hair. Anna, why is so I'm having a serious conversation here with my friend who, who doesn't think I'm crazy. You should it's just not now, alright? Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. And after the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Mm, 
shut up, shut up, shut up. Now, come on, Anna. I mean, I'll be honest, I am thinking the same thing. Alma is very sexy. I mean, I know, but come on. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held in her. She held her in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like a part of her had crumbled. Hey, Joe. Can I lift her sweater? Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. Mm -hmm. All right. Enough. Enough. Ah, uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Um, <clears throat> peace out. Ah, uh, ooh, no, I mean, um, hey, <laughs> look, I, I know the girl is you and the sisters, your eldest sister. You just, just, I just, just get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um... Fuck you, Anna, for, you know, making me talk out loud again. Um, my mouth's dry. Can I get a beer? Mm, right. Anna Graham is a little bitch. She's probably alter also my inner psyche. Talking to myself. I talk to myself all the time. So I'm not used to that. All mixed. None of it's aged. None of it, all just, just mixed. <coughs> I got you a beer. Here you go. Why, thank you. So, tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh, yes. Yes, me and Gabby were like two peas in a pod. Who was Gabby again? Oh, right, Gabby was a kid. Um, look, I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her. She was, she was pretty much my sister too. Fuck, I sound like a horrible person now. Look, I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl the chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. You know, yeah, the, yeah, the moment I started talking about myself, and how that she was my sister and whatnot. I too felt kind of like a dick. So, uh, oh, 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 by the way, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday. If you are interested, uh, you should come. I may or may not go insane because of Anagram, but it'll be fun. Oh, sure, I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, go take my break. All right. You have fun out there. Ah! You were there. You were quite absorbed in that conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Yeah, uh, um, yes. Anyways, call me if anything comes up. <coughs> <coughs> this is a, a hago, a higo. See, like the boss has one. Right there, see? This, this, this thing. <coughs> I'm still dying. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Alright. That will call it in for today's episode because I cannot breathe. I honestly cannot. No, I think I am dying. You guys have fun. Let me know. Uh, what you guys? Uh, let me know what you guys think about Anna. Anna's a dick. Anna is probably a figment of my imagination. I don't know if she's real. I know I, she's gonna fuck shit up for me. I also know that I may or may not be insane. Joe might also be insane too. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.